Ooh, yeah, dead man turn no tails. So if I run up on you, that's a farewell. Yeah, going up like the stairwell. We been getting to the money and we do it very well. Whoa, ooh. Yeah, man, turn no tails. So if I run up on you, that's a farewell. Yeah, going up like the stairwell. We been getting to the money and we do it very well. Whoa. Hey man, another one for the books, baby. On this edition of Titans All Access, it's time for October football. But first, Titans Radio's head coach Dave McGinnis breaks down three of the Titans' best players from the month of September. A big-time win against the Colts means a big-time Nissan Insider. So big, Big Jeff is coming in two parts. John Robinson stops by to preview the Titans' next opponent, and the Nashville Humane Association is honoring Titans controlling owner Amy Adams Strunk. All of that and much more coming up on Titans All Access. The monster, Derrick Henry. Sack! Rashad Evans! AJ Brown to the house. Brian Tannehill taking him to school. Says it right there. Welcome to the Bet MGM Studio and Titans All Access with Amy Wells. I'm Mike Keith. Welcome to October. Pumpkin spice. The changing of the leaves and, best of all, October football. All your favorite things. All my favorite <laughs> things. October football would be my number one favorite, especially going into October with a winning record. Titans are 2-1 and one after knocking off the Colts. And what a fun game that was. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of enjoyment for Titans fans. Great day in Nashville. Tennessee wins 25-16. Big win because it's in the division, undoubtedly. So, Titans on their way to the Northeast this week to take on the Jets. We'll talk a lot about that coming up. But let's talk big right now to begin this edition of Titans All Access. Let's go big as we get into the Nissan Insider. So, that means we've got to have... Big Jeff, of course. You had a chance to sit down with defensive tackle Jeffrey Simmons. We're going to hear two parts for Big Jeff today on this edition of Titans All Access. Take us through what we're going to hear from number 98. Oh, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. It's Big Jeff, so it was a big conversation. We talked leadership, we talked football, we talked getting back on the field, and we talked about a wonky season. Check it out. We came from the bottom, but we got to the top. We all trying to get to the top. We came from the bottom, but we got to the top. Jeffrey Simmons. It is so good to see you in person. I feel like I haven't had a chance to talk to you in a while. It's so good to sit down and be with you. How is everything going? How does it feel to be at St. Thomas Sports Park? It's feel great. Yeah? Um, it's feel great going into year three, getting an opportunity to actually be here with my teammates in person, like you said, see you in person. Just that vibe, you know, it's just that vibe to be back inside. But be back to work um, doing what I love and doing what I enjoy doing and that's playing football, being around my teammates. You know, each and every year, it's like I'm learning the game more and more and I'm just happy to be back. We're trying to get this done. You've had kind of a wacky start to your career. So you get drafted, you're recovering from an ACL. So you don't really get that off season experience because you know, you're healing from an injury. Then in year two, you should have a normal season. You're healthy, you were able to play a little bit, and then COVID hit. So everything is altered across the National Football League. Year three, you're finally here in this building. You're able to have a real off season. You're able to have real training and workouts. How do you think that's going to impact your game or has it already impacted your game that you've noticed? I think it's impacted my game already for sure. You know, just being able to you know, from OTAs, um, you know, just that, especially just go all the way back from right after the season, you know, you know, taking a little time off, you know, um, letting my body heal up from the season, you know, I really didn't have no major injuries um, coming out the season. I felt good, but just getting my body back ready for this year because I was able to go work out. I was able to, you know, actually focus on what I need to focus on to get ready for year three. And that's to get my body right. You know, just learning from last year, you know, I'm sitting down watching film with my trainer, which was my uncle. Then I come here for OTAs. In the opportunity to be on the field with your teammates, it's always great, you know, just trying to bond, especially in the spring, you know, to be able to know what type of teammates you have, 
you know, the drive or whatever it may be that you may have to push the guys a bit harder, whatever it may be. And, you know, you're just getting you ready for camp and getting ready for the season, so. It seems like you've had a tremendous impact on the football field in a very short amount of time. Is that surprising even to you, maybe the amount of impact, the amount of intensity you're able to bring it to the field when you're still so young? I'm just, I mean, just thinking back, you know, uh, when I first got in, you know, my thing was, you know, I wasn't playing. I was trying to just gain the trust and uh, respect with my teammates. And, you know, that just, you know, I always went by this thing, control what I control. And that's the, how hard I rehab, come off the injury, how hard I work at practice and how hard I play in the game, you know, whatever it may be, making tackle for loss, you know, trying to get a sack or, you know, running to the ball. And, you know, I think when your teammates see that, you gain the trust and you gain the um, respect of your teammates. You know, they're just bringing that impact each and every day. My role on this team, you know, is to be a D lineman, but also be a leader. And, um, you know, each and every day, I feel like if I come here, work my tail off, go on the field, you know, be an impact, you know, have an impact. And I think everything there just falls in line. You know, you get the respect and you get the trust from your teammates. Now, you mentioned that leadership. I know that's something you kind of put an emphasis on is learning how to be a leader, really growing into that role. Do you feel like you have become a better leader this year than in previous years? Yeah, for sure. Like I said, um, you have to learn your teammates. You have to learn, you know, which guy you had to push harder. You know, it, we all are human beings and it's just, you know, starting with me, you know, I hold myself to a high standard. You know, no matter what it is, you know, if we run it, we lift in weights, um, you know, practice, whatever it may be, running to the ball. You know, I want to be first. I want to be that guy that I'm not just going to talk about it. I'm going to show you that I'm going to be a leader by doing it. Looking forward to some more Jeffrey Simmons. Oh, yes. When you've got a guy like Jeffrey Simmons, you got to make it a two-parter. One segment is not enough because he's big. big. Absolutely. <laughs> Up next, the big man in charge of football. That's General Manager John Robinson. He's talking ball, presented by Duncan. It's next. Special teams ace Ola Adaini came up big on defense for the Titans in the first month of the season. Here's Dave McGinnis to break down how the free agent outside linebacker has made the most of his snaps. Let's watch Ola Odaney here on this play. Watch Ola Odaney right here. Come in on the right tackle, be able to arm under with his left arm a rip, and then use that motorcycle lean, stick his foot in the ground, go right to the launch point of the quarterback. This is a big, big sack. Sacks at the end of the half are huge. This was a big sack, big play in this ball game against Seattle, 808. Watch Ola Odaney. Nice game. Watch this game. Three-man game, tango game. Both tackles go inside. Ola Odaney wraps around. Very nice wrap, and then is able to chase. This is a safety, was not called a safety. Huge play by Ola Dane. Let's talk some ball with John Robinson, presented by Duncan. Glad to have you with us, Mr. GM. Congratulations on the victory. As you reviewed the tape, of your win over Indianapolis. What were your most positive takeaways? Well, I think it continues to be the resiliency of our football team. You know, we faced some adversity throughout the course of that game. You know, it started with a three and out. We turned the ball over a couple times down in our red zone. Looked like we were going to get points, but the defense showed up, got some stops, held them to field goals. You know, and then, and then offensively, we just kept chipping away. You know, we stuck to the run game. You know, Derek pounded them in there. Ryan on some, some of those keepers came up with some third down plays that were key for us down the stretch to salt that game away. You know, the adversity and our ability to overcome that just seems to keep showing up. Jeffrey Simmons is a big part of this edition of Titans All Access. I want you to talk about the progress of the third year defensive tackle from Mississippi State. Yeah, I mean, he's, he continues week in and week out to do an outstanding job for us. You know, there's a, there's a handful of plays that everybody sees, you know, those wow plays where you're screaming sack or it's a big tackle for loss, but it's the down in and down out play where he's taking on two blockers to free somebody else up. He's coming out of what we call the stack and chasing a screen play to get a big tackle for us to save a touchdown. You know, those down in, down out plays, you know, couple, couple with those wow plays, you know, he just continues to show up week in and week out. All right, I want you to talk to me about this Jets team we're gonna see this weekend, because this club is so different, not only from the Jets team you saw three years ago, but even from the Jets of a year ago. 
Yeah, I mean, I think schematically, you know, with Salah coming over, there's a lot of things that San Francisco did that they've incorporated there defensively with moving the front around, trying to get their playmakers in impactful spots. You know, offensively, schematically, it's a lot like what LaFleur did when he was here. Now his brother's kind of running the same thing in, in New York. You know, and they've got some firepower over there. Corey, we know Corey, he's up there now. Elijah Moore, Keelan Cole, they got this real cue. So they're trying to get it going, but it's a lot of similarities to what, you know, you saw when you turn on the San Fran stuff. All right, the rookie quarterback, Zach Will. Wilson, BYU, a guy you certainly broke down in the 2021 draft. What skill set does he possess that makes him dangerous? Yeah, I mean, I think he's, you know, he's got a really cool skill set. He's got a ton of arm talent. He can make all the off, you know, platform throws. Uh, a lot of those wow throws that you see Mahomes and Lamar Jackson and all those guys make, he can do that. You know, he's got good pocket mobility. He can run. He's not a runner per se. He looks like he runs to throw. He's starting to gel with some of those receivers. So a ton of upside for the young rookie. The Jets' defense has been solid through their first three games. John, what impresses you about them? Yeah, well, I think they've got three levels of playmakers. They've got May in the back end, who's around the football a ton, similar to what we saw with Jamal Adams, you know, out in Seattle. C.J. Mosley's back at Mike Linebacker. He's all over the field. He's a violent player, and they've got a lot of guys up front. Quinnen Williams, this Fadakasi's making plays. Franklin Myers at ends making plays. Coach Sala does a good job of moving those pieces around and putting them in places to be disruptive. October football, we're really into all of it now, aren't we? It's here and we are rolling. All right, glad to be talking ball with John Robinson, presented by Duncan. We've got more coming up right after this. Snap, quick throw, batted down at the line of scrimmage. Big play by Big Jeff into Big Paul up there, swat that thing down. That play from last Sunday is a great example of why the Titans drafted Jeffrey Simmons in the first round in 2019. Amy Wells, he affects the game. He does, and coaches see that, and his teammates see that as well, and it makes them want to affect the game. Great addition to this Titans team. Absolutely. Also a big addition in the locker room in terms of what he provides in leadership. A big presence, a big man. More of Big Jeff, part two of Amy Wells' Nissan Insider. You're a guy that has been recognized throughout the media and throughout the league for what you're able to do given how young you are. It's something that a lot of people talk about. You're on numerous 25 players under the age of 25 list. Do you think that that gives you kind of a sky's the limit mentality? There's so much more that you can do? I'm honestly, you know, it's just me being, you know, honest. I, I look at that stuff right there and it motivates me a little harder because like, if you're not first, you last. And I feel like, you know, you see these top 10 D linemen, you know, that's not good enough. You know, I, I'm not, you know, I see it like, you know, I want to be the best. And I'm, I wake up in the morning and that's my mindset. Like, I'm, I want to be the best and, you know, I'm going to be the best, so. How do you spread that mentality that I don't want to be top 10, I want to be number one? How do you spread that to your teammates? I mean, it just shows, you know, um, as they see, like, you know, we got a lot of great players on this team. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of these guys, you know, probably want to be the highest paid at their position eventually, you know. But at the same time, you know, just about every day I come in this building, you know, they know that they see this, they see the same thing that we see, um, you know, because it's, it's social media, everyone see it. And of course they see it. So just by me putting my head down, coming to work just like, you know, I'm just my first day here that I don't know nothing. You know, I want to come in and learn from these coaches. I want to show my teammate that I'm going to do whatever it takes, you know, to do my job to the best I can to help them win game. That just shows them that right there that they can trust me. And like I said, it's go back to the trust and the respect that whatever it is, no matter how much the rank is, no matter what it is it may be, that I'm going to come to work and put the work in. So. Now you're a leader amongst the Tennessee Titans, but you're also a leader in the community and you have a camp back in Starkville, Mississippi that you've put on what, two years in a row now. Two years in a row. And it's really a cool thing because you don't just open it to one group of kids. You kind of open it up to everybody, right? Tell me about your camp. Just like last year and this year, um, of course, you know, my first day is always like the ninth, July 19th and 10th. Now the first day is kind of like be like first through eighth graders. Um, the second day, which is Saturday, ninth and up. You know, I just, you know, when you think about it, I know me personally, I didn't kind of have that growing up. You know, you didn't have that role model in the community that actually played sports on a high level. You know, you always looked up to all these other guys that you really didn't know, or, you know, I kind of looked up to my uncle who played in the league, but you got these younger kids who are looking up to 
NFL guys because eventually, you know, they playing this little league football, they want to be in our shoes. So it just, that mindset of going back, like, you know, I was once in you guys' shoes, you know, take advantage of all the opportunities, especially with, because I had a lot of NFL guys who come back and help me do my camp. And it just, you know, that opportunity to give back. And I think that's always been my thing, you know. I always wanted to show this kid that, you know, no matter where you come from, no matter what it be, no matter what it is, you know, always never forget where you came from. And, and like I said, I was once in them kids' shoes and like, I'm, I'm grateful, you know, just that God put it on my heart each and every year, no matter what it may be, to give back to the kids. There's no doubt he's one of our favorite Titans. Jeffrey Simmons and a great Nissan Insider. Fantastic job, Andy Wells. Well, thanks, Mike Keith. But there's more fantastic stuff to come on Titans All Access. Mike Keith's keys, the best part of the show. But coming up next, on the other side of this break, Amy Adams Strunk receives an award from an organization that's close to her heart. Stick around. It's only a second year in the secondary, but Christian Fulton has made noise in the month of September. Coach Mack shows us how he's quickly becoming one of the Titans' most reliable defenders. Let's take a look at Christian Fulton here. Excellent play by Fulton up the sideline, staying right on the backside hip of a big combat catcher. Perfect, perfect timing. Shoots his hand up in the basket. Big incompletion against a premier receiver in the National Football League. Let's watch Christian Fulton here against Indy. As Wentz takes the snap, Watch Christian Fulton here. Tremendous job on the on the deep dig route. He's able to get in phase. This is a very, very tough route to cover for a secondary. Watch Christian Fulton stay perfectly in phase with Pittman. Stick his hand in there. Big fast breakup. Titans All Access continues from the Bet MGM studio. And what a big week it's been for our controlling owner, Amy Adams Strunk. Last Sunday, the Titans beat the Colts. It's Oilers tribute week. Lots of former Houston Oiler greats, roughly 80 of them in town for a reunion. Fantastic day overall for everybody involved. Oh my gosh, it was a great day. It was so fun to provide some recognition for the Titans roots. It was really a lot of fun. But then the week kept getting better, Mike Keith. Amy Adams Strunk had a birthday, and then she was recognized by the Nashville Humane Association. She was given an award to recognize her contributions over the last few years. Check this out. Please join me in thanking Amy Adams Strunk for her tireless dedication to National Humane Association and Shoulder Pets as we award her this year's Julia Fulton Award. We are so proud of everything that the Titans do on the field and off the field. They give back to their community, not just financially, but they allow us to promote animals up for adoption. They share information about fostering. Any ask that we make to the Titans, they say yes wholeheartedly. Look at this little guy right here. You can do the interview with me, buddy. So it's always been important for the Titans and for Amy, who is a huge proponent of rescue. She has quite, I wouldn't want to say the number, but quite a few rescue animals that she helps find homes for. And the Nashville Humane Association does a great job of doing that there. So we are forever grateful, and you constantly have an open paw invitation to adopt an animal at Nashville Humane. Paramount to Amy that we help find all these animals a home. Hopefully this little guy gets adopted today. And so we're just really proud to work with the National Humane Association. A lot of great recognition for our controlling owner, Amy Adams Strunk. Congratulations to her on a fantastic week. It is well deserved. When we come back, we're going to talk Titans Jets from MetLife Stadium. And it's time to throw out the keys to the game. Keys to the game indeed. You don't want to miss them. Stay tuned. Woohoo! Number 22 is a force on the field, and he's added another element to his game. Here's Dave McGinnis to explain why Derrick Henry is even more dangerous in 2021. Let's look at Derrick Henry here. Uses the counter move in the backfield to get the linebacker's eyes off track. All it takes now is a little bit of block on the edge, and then Derrick Henry Patented Derrick Henry long run. Derrick Henry versus Andy, 243 second quarter. Watch Derrick Henry, very, very accomplished now as a receiver. This is a play action pass, beautifully set up screen. Look at the blocking downfield, and then Darius Leonard takes the brunt of this oncoming Derrick Henry train on the tracks. 
Welcome back to Titans All Access. It is time for the best part of the show, Mike Keith's Keys. You ready? I'm ready. Let's protect Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill is making things go for the Tennessee Titans right now. Offensive line had a super day against the Colts protecting him. Backs have to pick up blitzers. Everybody else who has a chance to block for the quarterback when he runs has got to continue to do a great job. Protect Ryan Tannehill at all costs. Key number two. Protect your kickers. Now, you say, well, that's pretty obvious. You don't want to kick blocked, but it's often hard to kick the football with the winds at MetLife Stadium, better known as the Meadowlands. The winds can come from anywhere. You want to make sure that the kickers have plenty of time and are not under duress at any point. Let them do their thing without pressure in their face. All right, the final key. Pressure. I said pressure, right? I brought it up a lot. Pressure on the quarterback, Zach Wilson. Keep it there all game long. Young quarterback, hard on him when he's got guys in his face all the time. Titans have done a much better job getting after the quarterback in 2021 than they did last year. Keep it up and maybe even double that effort this week from all over the place. Mike Keith, your keys have been surprisingly accurate. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean surprisingly accurate? Surprisingly accurate through weeks one through three. I'm excited to see them in week four. And hopefully you stay just as accurate. I'm hot. You're hot. That's the deal. That's the deal. Next week we'll be hot as we're going to Jacksonville to play the Jaguars. We'll cover all of that on the next edition of Titans All Access. But for this time, we're done. For Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Good transition, Mike. That's what I do. <laughs>